All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by saying Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, this is gonna be another quick lesson. And um, you know, I'm just, you know, yesterday I did a show based off the word temporal, going into the scriptures, and how everything is temporal here. And uh that was what second Corinthians the fourth chapter, and now this is what second Corinthians the fifth chapter. Alright, and Paul, Apostle Paul, he's getting into about you know the heavenly body and the, and the fleshly body. All right, because when you die, your spirit goes back up to the Father, and you go back into your first estate. All right, which is that spiritual body. All right, because the spirit lives within the flesh, and right now we we are at war. Right now, through the spirit, the spirit versus the flesh, the flesh versus the spirit. All right, you know we're in an evil world. The flesh is made to go off. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, so you constantly, you know, if you are a man or woman that constantly searching and seeking righteousness in the Lord, you know, then you know that you are at battle with yourself, you know, before you at battle with, you know, your enemies, man, the other nations and two thirds of our people. All right. So let me just get right into it. This is Second Corinthians five and one. It says, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle was dissolved, we have a body, excuse me, we have a building of the most high and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens exactly all right because a man can't be made by hands man all right the most high created the spirits and he created us in the flesh you know it's the most high that puts the spirit inside of a man's sperm you know and when that man ejaculates inside of a woman's womb you know the lord creates that child within that woman's stomach you know esau he's not doing this okay even though how mad of a scientist he is and spicing cells and, you know, some people say he has clones and things like that. His technology is on high, but guess what? He's not the most high. All right. He is not God. He is not Yahweh. Okay. Who the world ignorantly calls God, you know, or the Arabs, they call him Allah, which Allah is a Hebrew word that just means power. Okay. But Esau is not that great of power. All right, he may be a power unto us because of the riches, because the heavenly father set him up to rule in this world as the blessing that was given to Esau. But guess what? He's not the ultimate power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is the ultimate power. All right. So I'm gonna read again. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have been building of the most high and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. All right. Uh, one thing Paul also said is that, um, you know, we, we will defeat the sting of death. And guess what? That means that the elect, okay, starting with the elect, you're not going to die, man. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, cracked those clouds and, and returned and redeemed the elect of Israel, guess what? You know, brothers are going to just be changed, you know. When they go up on those chariots, they're going to be just changed in the twinkle of an eye. And they're going to be changed into that new body, man. Okay, that body that's extraterrestrial. All right, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. All right, you got a lot of disbelievers. You got people out there that believe whatever they want to believe. But here, you know, we believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those that have faith in the scriptures. All right, and and as the scripture says, the Lord said, uh, uh, believe in the scriptures as it is, as it is written. Okay, you know, so when we changed. That spiritual body is going to be able to be the fleshly body, all made perfect in one, man. That's beautiful, man. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're praying for, the kingdom, man. You know? So, verse 2. For in this we groin, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. That's right, man. You know, some brothers, you know, you know when you vexed. You know, hey, you to the to the breaking point. You don't want to be here no more, man. 
You would rather be with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And where is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? In the spirit realm. All right? Okay? Then, then to be here in the flesh. But as Paul even said, it is needed, you know, that, that he will be here because, you know, roughly paraphrasing, he said that he was betwixt between the two. You know, he wanted to be with the Lord, but he also wanted to be here with the brethren. You know, and it's needed, it's more needful to be here with the brethren so that he can continue to teach, give out that experience, the understanding, man, so that other brothers like the hopeful elect to wake up and get sealed. And that goes the same as for us, man, you know? But guess what? Brothers would rather be with the Lord. You know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the spirit realm, they don't shit, pee. They don't have to eat. They don't have to wake up to an alarm clock. They don't have to change no pampers. You know, if they got pee, no babies, man. There's no babies being born in the spirit world, man. All right? You're just resting in their chamber, man. You know, waiting to be put back on earth. Besides the ones that the Lord uh, designed to be just the celestial. Because the Lord did make a difference between us, all right? He has the celestial spirits, and he also has, uh, you know, the ones he sent forth into the flesh, you know? He has angels that, that never comes into the flesh unless the Lord allow him to, to take upon that image, you know? And a lot of times, you know, they'll come and do the works of the Lord, you know? Sometimes they're, you know, we, we're, as the scriptures say, entertaining uh, angels and unawares, you know? You know, to say something to you, to, to give you more faith or... Whatever the case the Lord may do, all right? But there's a difference. Just like there's a difference between the fishes and and, and man, you know? We never evolved from uh, what Esau, you let him tell it. We never evolved from the Big Bang Theory, you know? And we came from out of the ocean and we was, we was fish and then we grew into monkeys and then monkeys to man to human. No, that, that never happened, man. Okay, Esau is a damn devil, man. All right, and you're a liar, and you're being exposed. Same way how you're being exposed, and at the same fashion, your kingdom is being brought down, man. All right, and that's first starting off with the spirit of the Lord's mouth. So anyway, let me get back. It says, for, for this we groin, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. And we groin, man. You know, trust and believe that, man. When you're catching hell, you're going through it. You want out, man. So verse 2, uh, verse 3, it says, If so be that being clothed, we shall be found, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groin, being, being burdened. Not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. All right, so that's the point. Hey, that's another thing to look for. The elect is looking to swallow up mortality, man. We're looking to defeat death, man. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the elect is looking to defeat death just as well as our big brother Yahweh Shai, man, and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me see. Uh, this is the word um, mortality and. This is in the blue letter Strong's. Strong's G 2349. Tenetas. Tenetas. Okay, this is uh, mentality. Liable to, to death. Mortal. All right, mortal. Mortality. You know, liable to die. Mortality. You know, because guess what? We're in the flesh. At any moment, hey, we're, we're liable to die, man. You can die at any any second, man. Any moment, the Lord can take the breath away from you and you be in the spirit world, man. And your flesh should be left here on the earth. You know? That's why um, uh, also, too, says in Psalms that uh, we're in the what valley and shadow of death, man. This is America. You know? You know, you can die from anything here, man. You know, that's why when the Lord sent forth his pestilences, you know, airborne diseases... People gonna die, man. Left and right. You know, as is what Jeremiah 16. He says, he said, they shall die of grievous death. And guess what? He said, No, no one will lament, lament you, man. Lament over you, man. You know, we're in a time where, man, it's gonna be mass, massive death, man. All right, around the world, man. Because we are at the end. You know, everything has its uh its course and its purpose and its time and its season. 
okay? So when it's, it's time to manifest itself, it will, okay? So anyway, let me read that again. Since we got into mentality, I mean mentality, uh, mortality, it says, um, verse four, for we that are in this tabernacle do groin, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but be clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. So, hey, being the elect, you know, you're in that race to swallow up mortality, to defeat death, man. <laughs> you know, the elect is something special, favorite of the Lord, man. And the Lord chosen them to uh, defeat death, man. You know? So let me say, verse 5. Now he that have wrought us for the selfsame thing is Yahweh. Who also have given unto us the earnest of the spirit. Alright? The earnest of the spirit. It says, earnest and earnest. Money which is purchased is given in a pledge or down payment that the full amount will subsequently be paid. So, <laughs> let's see, it says, um, so like the driver, so let me, uh, part of the purchase money or property given in advance as security for the rest. So, the Lord have given us the earnest of the spirit, man. You know, basically that's security, man. It says, um, part of the purchase money or property given in advance as security for the rest. So the Lord gave us security through faith, man. <laughs> All praises to y'all, Bashim, I was shy, man. You know, the Lord is bad, man. And then um, getting into these words, man, it could be simple, but it speaks a lot, man. It speaks a lot. Verse five. Now he that is raw, he that, excuse me. Uh, now he that have wrought us for, for the self-same thing is Yahweh, who also have given unto us the earnest of the spirit. All right. <laughs> Therefore, we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. And yeah, we are absent from the Lord as, as of now, you know, as far as his physical presence. You know, we can't see his face. All right. We can't touch his hands, you know. But guess what? He's with us through the spirit. You know, Yahweh Shai said he would leave us the comforter. And the comforter is this word. The comforter is uh, uh, his spirit being given to the elect. All right? To comfort us, man. Oh, man. Satan. I need to make this left. Oh, you know what? says uh therefore we are always confident that knowing that while we are at home in the body we are absent from the lord all right so we are absent for the lord but the lord is still with us in the spirit you know the scriptures also say he said when two or three are gathered in my name you are in the midst of us so the lord is with us man all right whether he's here physically or spiritually and he's here spiritually all right um verse six therefore so like in verse 7 For we walk by faith not by sight Exactly For we walk by faith Not by sight We don't walk by For what things we can see We walk by the faith that we have in the Lord In which he gave us Which is the earnest of the spirit That security man Okay That down payment <laughs> Verse 8 We are confident I say And willing rather to be absent from the body to be present with the Lord. Where, wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. All right? You know, we want to be accepted of the Lord, man. That's why we labor the way we do. Okay? And it's through the spirit of the Lord. The Lord put that spirit on, brothers. The Lord put that spirit on the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay? He put that spirit on all the brothers through the four corners. 
that's teaching the word of sincerity and truth. All right? You know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it has to be, I mean, what's this, you? It has to be a spirit on brothers, you know, to go, and it, I mean, to, to basically, to go on the way they do, you know, to endure the way they do, you know, in season, out of season, you know? It has to be a spirit on those men. See, when you work out, you know, if you're not training to be an athlete and you're in that field, but you're working out because you might want to lose some weight, tone up a little bit, you know, you got that motivating spirit on you, you know, you got that spirit on you where you, you get yourself up and you consistently and, and you do what you got to do, you know, then when you see results, you know, you, you, you continue it, but you might slow down because why the spirit, you know, has you either uh, going at a pace or sometimes some people would just fall away from it, you know, then they come back around the next summer. It's the same thing as dieting, man. You know, when you're dieting, you know, you be on a strict diet, trying to, uh, you know, reset your stomach, you know, not eat too much of the fatty things and not go too much acidic, but go alkaline. Well, guess what? At a time, you're going to stop. All right. Because it's a spirit. It's a spiritual thing, man. And that spirit is on the men of the Lord. And I'm going to say the elect of the Lord. It says, um. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent We may be accepted of him So we do this to be accepted man You know And Jake loved to be a part of something And loved to be accepted You know But who, who two thirds want to be accepted by Is by their enemy Is by the one that hate them You know Is by the one that hate them Did not the Lord said I hated Esau but loved Jacob Alright The Lord never said he hated two thirds But he said he was going to put you to death but he never said he hated you because you are his people. All right. He created you, man, to be the righteous. But you ain't right, man. You ain't right. You know. But the most high, Yahweh, he said he hate Esau, man. But Jake want to be accepted, you know, amongst their enemies, man. You know. Mm -hmm. That's why you watch all these TV shows. I was just watching TV. Really, you know, watching the Internet. You know, brothers, brothers got them little, 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 little things. You know, uh, what you call it? I ain't gonna say what it is, <laughs> but you know, brothers can watch anything they want, man. You know, all types of things, live TV, movies, and all that, man. But you know, I was just watching it and skimming across some shows and TV shits and all that bullshit. You see, Jake, you know, they hair color. You know, they got blonde hair, red hair, blue hair, green hair. Why, who are you trying to look like? You trying to look like Esau, man. You know? But anyway, let me continue. And I'm going to wrap this thing up. It says, verse 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according that he have done, whether it be good or bad. All right? So I'm going to read that one more time. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah. That everyone may receive the things done in his body, which is in the flesh, according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So you're going to be judged. And the time of judgment is near. Okay? The time of judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's judgment. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's Mashapat. Okay? It's near, man. All right? So you're going to be judged, man. It says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men that uh, we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also made manifest in your conscience. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and keep the faith. You know, keep keep the faith going, man. Keep strong. Keep praying, brothers, and keep uh, doing what you're doing. You know, because we almost out of here, man. We have hope. The Lord gave us the earnest of the spirit, man. He gave us a down payment. Okay, He gave us security, man. All right, to secure that spot. <laughs> you know, to secure that spot of salvation, man. To being part of the elect. You know, because the elect, you know, they gotta be, man. The elect. Uh, the partial of them, whatever the number is, man, the Lord got them sealed, man. 
We just got to endure, man. You know? And death and destruction to the wicked in two-thirds, man. So with that, Shalom.